So today I was talking to somebody who has pretty severe claustrophobia, I'd say. For this person, even going under a table, under a coffee table, which does, like the sides of it are open and everything, that was too much, you know, much less anything else like, you know, being in a crowded elevator or, you know, severe claustrophobia. And that's a pretty tricky fear to conquer if someone were to want to conquer it. And I just had this crazy idea. I just I just had a thought and I went and I grabbed a piece of paper and I drew this. And uh, well, this part wasn't here yet. So it was, it was just this this over here. And this is a little paper computer game. And it's like I basically just said, you know, OK, like I brought it to this person and I said, OK, so this is you you're in a tight space what do you do and there's just a few objects here there's like an apple there's a rock there wasn't a key initially and there's like a keyhole over here and this is the way out and that's it they played the game and uh got terrified so yeah i don't know i just felt curious if the same feelings would come up if it was a paper computer game or or not and either way that's interesting and what it ended up being was that they were able to play the game a little bit. They were able to, uh, I mean, kind of. It's like, all right, this is a rock. This is a apple. I added in the key later, and there's a keyhole. And yeah, at first there was no key, so you just have to try to find a way to get the keyhole open, and then a door opens. But they weren't able to do that. They got too freaked out. But then when I added the key in and gave it back to them, they were able to be like, all right, I'll put the key in the keyhole and open it. Now, had this been like, had they been actually in a tight, confined space like this, they wouldn't have been able to do it. And even seeing this much was frightening to them. But the key thing was, it was not as frightening as actually doing it. So, you know, this kind of raises the question in my head. Could you use paper computer games as a form of therapy for some people? Maybe it would be sort of like an easier way to experience some of the things that are, that are scary or that you have trouble dealing with, but in a way that you can kind of control it, in a way that it's not like totally overwhelming. You get, it can help you conquer a fear maybe. I don't know. I mean, I don't know, maybe a person who has fear of heights, maybe they could play a paper computer game where they're on top of a cliff or, you know, if they have a fear of whatever they have a fear of, you know, you, you could like PCGs can be about anything. So you can do any of this. There is kind of precedent for that. There's the there's, for example, they've developed techniques where they can use mirrors as the therapy for people. Like, for example, a person who is missing a limb and they and they have a phantom limb that can't move you can use a mirror to make it feel like you have another limb and that can get you, uh, and that can help you break out of the phantom limb being stuck syndrome. So that was my experiment with this. And then, and so after this screen, I, I added on this extra screen and then I gave this back to them and they were like, no, that's too much, I can't do that. So I'm like, all right. So I'm like, what if, like, I just made it a little bit bigger. I, like, increased the size. Like, I actually didn't have an eraser, so I couldn't get rid of the original line. But I'm like, all right, forget this. You are in this larger room now. Now can you do it? And they still couldn't. And so I gave up at that point. <laughs> but, so, yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe my experiments is a failure. But I don't know. I thought it was an interesting thought. And I think maybe there's some potential with it. I felt like by like by doing stuff like this, by sort of adapting to where they are, being like, all right, that was too much for you. Let me remake the game a little bit until it's something that you can play that's maybe a little bit scary for your particular phobia, but which is something that you can handle. If you just keep doing that, you know, I feel like it might be an easier way for them to address the fear without, you know, actually going out and addressing the fear. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe like maybe it could be helpful to some people. I don't know. It's just just a thought. Um just an experiment. Um uh yeah, so that's all. <laughs> But yeah, feel free to use any of these ideas in your own games. Feel free to try experiments like this on your own. Uh, as always, all my stuff is free to use. 
but yeah, just wanted just wanted to show you guys. I guess technically I, it is a new paper computer game I made. Technically, uh, I mean, you know, uh, even though it's super tiny, there's like no lore associated with this. Obviously, I just made this completely as an experiment to see if it could have any effect with this person. But yeah, that's all I've got to show you for right now. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, PCG you later.